right, here we go. We are on to the first map. Temple Raiders, one that if you've been around for a long time, you've probably played this map many times. It's uh, a little bit more straightforward. You can get the orbs, get the monuments, and of course the lagos uh, later on in the, in the map. Definitely. With uh, Sia kind of now playing a distant role, but is pretty aggressive in their attacks right now, it's kind of interesting to see with her, the two teammates kind of going in to get damage there. My guys taking a lot of damage. Is it going to be the first death in this tournament? We'll find out very, very soon. It's, it's very low, and there you go. Maja is down and loses those points. Yeah, uh, an unfortunate uh, achievement, I suppose. <laughs> First death of the tournament, as you put it. That's why Maja does go down. Um, you know, generally these early kills, they don't end up changing. Uh, you know, they, they don't have too huge of an effect, but it definitely tells you kind of like how it's going, right? Who, who is more dominant? Of uh, the two teams. They're fighting over this monument, and it looks like Pepe was able to take that down. Yes, and Big Guy went down hard there. Uh, kind of got flanked on both sides over there. Now Sia kind of entering our and pushing on Tindu. Yeah, they with the early lead here, slightly more relic, especially with the honor in the middle. And uh, let's just see how they manage to push around. We see lightning there on the uh, Berserker of Team SMP is he going to be able to get in and around the faces of Team Bay. Uh, looks like Penguin did go down, so a bunch of kills going the way of uh, SMP here so far. As the Lagos has spawned, of course, to this part, and we'll see who can take the lead if they do take that down. Now again, it does seem like what they're doing is doing peripheral damage while trying to take out the enemy along the way, uh, as opposed to just straight up focusing on Lagos. Yeah, not really damaging it down, but Sia is up in the face of this objective. He's going to be able to take it down before it gets stolen. The health bar is just disappearing on Lagos. Who is going to be able to get it? Oh, and it looks like it is going to go the way of Bay. As actually Pepe, it looks like, was able to take that down. He's in the lightning now and collecting so many points for his team. There's still a lot of time, but the whole team is healed up now. They get the salvation, and it's going to be difficult for s &P to come back. Yeah, Pepe needs to stay away from trouble. If he goes down, it might just catapult Team SMP into the lead. So Pe Pepe is hiding within these bushes, making sure that no one can find him. But Magi has found him. He's frozen up. Pepe's trying to get out. Does manage to go bush to bush and is making the run. Is he going to be able to go down? Magi is still on the chase. Pepe is going for it. You know, Big Guy bought them some time with the freeze, but. You know, what with Sia and Haka just kind of pushing the carry there. Oh, and everybody on the side of Bay is taking so much damage. You mentioned Pepe, and he goes Pepe. down. They take him down with 23 seconds to go. That's a lot of points still on the board, but that is a massive kill to take him down at this point in time. And now with only 12 seconds left, it's looking like SMP should be just fine. Mata, he's got the most points over here. And he's just running around in circles. Nobody can take him down. Now with only three seconds to go, it's looking like SMP will take the first map here of Temple Raiders. Yeah, even though they got the Lago. Here we go. We're jumping on to the second map. It is, of course, Keeper of the Relics. So it will be a little bit different. We have the two Ballistas. That do offer a lot of points alongside of Lagos later on in the game. You'll see if one team accidentally takes down the base a little bit too early and then it's a scramble to try and stay alive. But both teams seem to just be chipping it away a little bit to make sure that they can pick it off in the last few seconds of the game to get that massive bump. We've seen the team at and two that they're kind of trying to engage in the 2v1s because uh, on Team Bay they're just kind of holding back a bit. Like with their range character and their composition, they could just engage 2v1 all the time here. Yeah, but Magic can take such a beating from everyone. Like, he's still alive. He was two versus one for a good 10, 15 seconds there. And somehow manages to come out alive and starts to heal up. So they're going to find it difficult to take him down as Pepe falls here. And he's down to eight points. Tengu as well He's down to eight points. The big guy is getting the kills he needs. He has bumped up to 15 points, but they're still slightly behind. Sia providing a peripheral fire for allowing Maja and Kanka to just kind of rack up shows there. Big Guy is definitely holding up his end. Uh, Pepe Pingo are providing the peripherals, but it isn't doing as much. And, uh, we're seeing Big Guy here. You know, he's got the most points here on his team, as you have mentioned, but he's 
to get some healing as well, picking up that orb, and uh, he's been able to pick up a couple. Now he gets the salvation. He's feeling just fine, able to hold on to the majority of his points here, and that's going to be really good for taking a small lead here in the UFC. There's a bit of a battle around the monument as Lagos spawns, so we'll see who will be able to take the Lagos here. And Kata is focused on Big Guy here. Will they be able to get the kill? Big Guy does go down, I believe. And this is just an absolute slaughter from SMP. They are dominating this game, and it looks as though they're going to be able to take the Lagos whenever they feel like it. Now Lagos is just draining. You know, they were just focusing on the enemy first and then focusing, but now I guess both teams are kind of concentrating their fire on Lagos. Yeah. You see they're getting to work on it now. Pepe is looking for potentially that burst at the end, and it looks like Penguin is going to be the one that does take it down. You can see that he is going a bit low here, does a bunch of damage, but now he's got to survive with some of the, those uh, points that he was able to pick up here. And you see Pepe hanging around him, but everybody on the side of Bay now is pretty low. Yeah, and that's going to play into effect as it looks as though SMP are gearing up for an all-out attack here. They do need to take the Ballista. That is as much as we know. Pepe freezes everyone here, but Pingu, Pepe, and Big Guy are all incredibly low. At first, it seemed like SMP was trying to run down the clock before they go in for the kill, but right now, the time's kind of working against them. However, Team Bay is losing a lot of health, and all those points are swinging the way of SMP. Yeah, all they gotta do is kill Penguin. Oh here. my goodness, yep. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's doing a good job of surviving, but his teammates also have to kill the enemy Ballista. It has Gets to go out. A little bit of healing here, but now 15 seconds. Lots of points being built up here by SMB, and they are running out of time to kill this Ballista. You see, they're making a mad dash for it now, but they're still behind. Three seconds, Three seconds. left, and it looks like that's gonna be another win here for SMP. It, it was kind of close. They got rid of the blister right. And here we are, back on first Raiders. So, as we mentioned, more alternating maps here. And let's see if the strategies change at all. When you go down 0 2, you take time and try to consider what went wrong. And we'll see if specifically in Team Bay, do they mix anything up here? Well, they haven't made any Seems like they're going in with a very similar playstyle as well. Taking down the walls, controlling the orbs on their side of the map and trying to take the monument of battle in the middle of the field. But we can already see that that's already been contested. The big guy is on top, but disappeared under Maja there. Yeah, with right now, what it looks like is that they're kind of clearing walls along the way, which will allow a lot of your close range players to kind of dash in and out more without obstacles here. Big guy goes down as well. Not going to be working well for him right now. He's down to eight points, whereas Pankata, Shia, and Maja are all up there in the points 14, 13, and 12. And they have the lead at this point of the game. Yeah, you can tell right there on the minimap as well. Well, what we're looking to see as we but on the minimap, you can tell all of Team SMP are together. And whenever someone comes in, they send two out while the other folks on something else. It's always 2v1s. They're always going to get the 2v1s on this. They're trying to make a move here together. Big Guy has collected actually a lot of points after going down a little bit early. So he's been orb collecting. He's been picking up a couple kills. And not half bad, you know, now he is on top for his team. And I was going to say, you know, if you're the first guy going down and you're kind of the carry, you're the main guy on your team, it's not a good look, right? You want to be the one that's uh, actually making the difference in the match. Yeah, but what he has done now is painted a huge target on his head. Will SMP be able to capitalize on that? And will they be able to get the Logos? There's a lot of damage going on. Both teams seemingly bursting and trying to damage each other by periphery on this Logos. Dropping down those AOEs. Logos is almost down. Who's going to get it? Maja gets the Logos. And that is just massive. Another jump forward here for Team SMP. And it's a little bit cleaner of a cleanup it looks like this time around, although everybody on the side of Team Bay still at full health. And they still do have a minute left to kind of catch back up. You saw in that engagement, Pankata was keeping Pepe busy while the other two uh, were focusing on the Lagos, but you know, you took one of your Archmages out and now you don't have that range on the Lagos. Let's see if they can get Maja down. They have to, basically Bay now have to get multiple kills, multiple team wipes 
on Team SMP to even stand a chance. And we can already see SMP playing a lot more defensively as they go in here. Magic does <laughs> take a lot of damage. The Monument of Battle is going to be important. That's 23 points. Pengu trying to get it down, but Pepe manages to get it just before. But Pengu is dead. 37-13-7. It is not going the way of Team Bay. Right now, they got to take that hit on Pankata. They got to finish that off, and I believe that's what they're going to try and go for. Pepe kind of circling around, going for Pankata. But Sia's providing support over there. That's a big salvation. It's going to get Pepe back to full health here, and he was pretty low. And now with 12 seconds left, a couple low health bars here on CM Pankata. They're trying to burst Pankata down there in the center of the map. All the walls are down. There's only five seconds left, but more and more points only going into the wallets of SMP. And they are going to take the victory for the third time in a row and take the first series here in a very dominant fashion, three to zero. Absolutely. Well. <laughs>